Look at how old everyone else is. Yep. So you mean to tell me that not one of you succeeded in retrieving the artifacts? The artifacts you were charged with protecting. All three of them are still missing. And when exactly were you planning on telling me this? What voice did I have for her? She was your kind of tough girl voice. Oh, uh, yeah. I was still attempting to recover it. Where did you lose them? We don't know. Deeper into the woods. <laughs> Taken by our old acquaintance, obviously. That's not really him. You know what I mean. Ah. Uh, it says... Sorry. Listen, but never, it's getting gotten so strong. You've even seen a few never gazers out during the day, hiding in the shade under the trees, just watching us. Likely because he has all three of the artifacts that are meant to help keep the nether, uh, nether contained. No wonder the green witch is having such difficulty. Oh, the three pedestals mm -hmm. that are in the grave chamber. Ah. <sighs> kind of like the, the three gemstones. Sorry to interrupt. You keep talking about someone. Who? Scrap heap. Get them set up. Uh, get them set up, would you? Of course. Apologies for my demeanor back there. What's all this about artifacts and someone taking them? Uh, yes, well, the Green Witch, before she passed on, she created three keys. They were, some of them, rather common items. She magically linked them to a seal that keeps the never, cont uh, never locked away in the Umbral Lethia. Lethia. Can you pass me the uh, peach? Because I don't think you're drinking it. Okay, sure. Ooh. Sweet. Umbral what now? It's difficult to explain. The Never. It comes from somewhere else. Exists on a different plane, probably. Mm, the Shadow Dimension, essentially. Umbral Lethia is where it lies now. And a gateway to it exists here, though it is sealed. It is a dark place. Only one of our number ever ventured there, and well, he didn't return. But something wearing his body did. His name was Big Pockets, and he was a great green shield. And he was our friend. The Never has him now and uses him to move about during the day to undo our work. He has taken the artifacts. He walks these woods sometimes, even in the daylight, taunting us. So, about Master Kirby here. Uh, if it's about space, she can take my place. Of course not. We have plenty of space. Suffice to say that another child uh, complicates matters. I'm standing right here. Don't worry your thoughts with it any longer, young masters. We should all retire for the evening. Much more to do tomorrow. My lady, please make yourself comfortable. You're most welcome. Complicates matters. Mm hmm Why would that complicate matters? Having more children? Mm hmm. Hmm. Young masters, very good to see you well and healthy. Maps. So you're eyeing, eyeing my maps. Do we have a fellow cartographer on our hands? I admit I'm a bit of a novice myself, but I do find the hobby ever so rewarding. Unfortunately, these days, with everything going on, I find I'm a bit scattered in my studies. Ah, here I go again. Being a bore, please excuse an old man's ramblings. What matters is, if you return to me after exploring new areas, I can draft up new maps. With the scouting data you provide, it should be easy enough task. All I ask is a small ink reimbursement donation. Anyway, so I've gone on long enough. Feel free to browse my current services and happy charting. <laughs> Does this just give you the full map, or I don't understand? Heck if I know, but they're cheap. Mm-hmm. I figure potentially gets me the map, maybe... Secret stuff. Maybe. Uh, let's see. I was really hoping you'd give us, like, fancier map markers or something. Mm-hmm. 
Whoa! Who's this now? Yeah, suddenly there's like a thousand new people in the deep woods. Or just two. Kirby. Eh? My name. It's Kirby. Well, the more the merrier, I suppose. Yeah, and if you know how to dance, don't talk to me. Okay. Well, that was not productive. Can I, what can I do for you? Brownies, really? Ever notice how some of the creatures in the deep woods aren't friendly? I know what you're thinking. I was thinking it too. It's not just you. They've been a problem for a while now. We suspect the growing influence of the Never is making them more aggressive and expansionist, for lack of a better word. At any rate, we unfortunately cannot allow their overtly violent behavior to threaten the balance of the Deep Woods. Will you help? Very well. Let the hunt begin. The creatures of the Deep Woods must be kept in a balance. And too many of a destructive species can disrupt that harmony. Recently, I've noticed that the shelter thorn population has become a bit inflated. Destroy ten shelter horns and come back to me with for a reward. If you want to know the status of your bounty progress or a reminder of what to do, just check back with me through the shiny rock. A glorious day. The Grove Trove has new items on display. Grove Trove. With the giant's tooth. An enormous tooth gripped to a giant. Or dragon. Or a giant dragon. Wielded long ago by a knight during the founding of the Green Shield Order. Though no one has ever had the strength to wield it since. It <laughs> just used a giant tooth as a hammer. Of course. So we still haven't found the water wheel. Yeah, we still haven't been able to upgrade the mill. Okay. Well. You're not gonna talk to the little sprightling guy? What? This? What's up? <laughs> There's your answer. To bed we go. A fractured order. So yeah, the guy with the pockets is... possessed. More cans. And the television. It's difficult, you know. It's difficult to even look at you. Mm. You remind me so much of her. See? I knew it. Wake. Where did you go? Wait. Big Pockets is there. Wait, wait, wait. Where? Where was right, he? It was right next to the lamp. I could see the feet, the coat. Oh, I didn't... Yeah. I didn't see So that. I almost feel like the, the Never is reaching out. Or potentially even... Influencing his dad. Mm -hmm. Or will use his father as a conduit to enter the material realm. Maybe, yeah. Wake, Kirby. Good morning. I'll waste no time. We've much to do. Probably. I suspect you already know what I'm going to ask of you. Yep. Yeah, we gotta go find the missing artifacts. Good. To guide your way, these locations will be marked on your map. Probably. <laughs> Now, the deep woods are vast and daunting. Many strange and ancient beings lie in its Stygian corners. But fear not, all green shields of the grove will be here to assist you. There's no finer smith and tinker in all the lands, magical or otherwise, than my dear friend Scrap Heap. Use his vast knowledge to your advantage. I believe he requires assistance in restoring his famed trove as well. I've never met a more fierce, fiercer hunter than our friend Toothpicks, probably. And I do believe she may have some additional tasks for you, should you feel adventurous. These two are useless. <laughs> Alchemist extraordinaire and purveyor of many useful bits and bubbles, Crow's Nest Shop will surely be of great use to you throughout your journey. And while he may not speak, short of words he isn't, if you're looking for new or updated maps of the Deep Woods, Paper Plains is certainly most knowledgeable. Litter box. Well, you just mostly leave her to her felines. She's had a long go of it, probably. Though if you do find her stray cats throughout the woods, she may reward you. 
Quake, Kirby, go now and retrieve the lost artifacts with the blessing of us all. We will seal the Never Away once more and end this nightmare. Well, you ready? You know it. Heck yeah. All right, Wait, I should probably. You need all your critters. Yeah, you'd be pretty bad without them. Oh, uh, quick thing. Hey. Renovation? What Ooh, are you? What are you that's doing? That's expensive. Uh, it increases my capacity by five. Oh, so how many can you lift now? Uh, so we can have thirty-five, and if we get some more blue stuff, we can get even more. However, I'm gonna need more blue stuff, like a lot. Well. Make sure that you have a good batch for you to go out with. Oh, right. I want to say there's one that actually requires 35. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. We're done with Wisp Wagon, so let's go there first. But what I was going to say before is that we had suspected that it was a situation where the mother had passed on and mm -hmm. unfortunately the parents take it out on the kid. Yeah. That's not uncommon. It's really interesting. I mean I could I could understand it from a parent's perspective if let's say you know, a woman dies in childbirth. Yeah. Because at that point, the father might blame the child for the death of the mother in the first place. And sure, they have their baby to raise, but they would have wanted the mother to be there. Yeah. And they may even have wanted the mother over the baby. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm like, from my own perspective, that's... I would not be surprised if that... Well, I wouldn't be surprised. It is absolutely one of my, like, considerations with, like, do we have kids? Mm -hmm. I, the risks are spooky. Mm -hmm. Not something I'm, like, immediately worried about, but it's still the kind of thing that it's just like, yeah. I mean, there are... There are women who've died of... I mean, blood clots and a whole host of other things. I, you have to realize it's people. almost killed my mother twice, so... Mm -hmm. So, like, I don't know. I, I guess I'd say I'm predisposed slightly. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, it also... Yeah, it, it's nice that you're showing that concern because, you know, you being the guy wouldn't have to yeah, actually endure it. I don't have to worry about it. it nearly as much. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's where we are. Okay. Um, well, I don't think I'd ever strictly, like, hold it against the kid but it would definitely mess me up if something happened to you along the way mm -hmm. okay uh, it, was, it was over here let's go check out this outhouse hey gray coat we find your pooper oh thank god I've been <laughs> holding it in for centuries <laughs> no, I still wonder why they always back. have a little moon on them when did that become the convention? I have no idea. Because practically every outhouse I've seen that's made out of wood has a little crescent moon on it. I My grandmother's outhouse had a crescent moon on it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> God, I do not miss those days. Admittedly, the only time I've ever really used an outhouse was at my <laughs> friend's cabin. Nothing was more unfortunate than having to go to the outhouse Mm -hmm. When it was like negative 10 or 20 degrees for Christmas. Oh, gosh. When we visited my grandparents. Oh, whoa, 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 wait. Your grandparents didn't have indoor? They didn't have functional plumbing. No? Uh, not all the time. Oh. Um. I don't really remember the reasoning behind it. Oh. Museum delivery received. Thank you. That's... Was It'll that... be ready for display next time you visit me in the grove. There's still room in the grove trove for more to keep the relics coming. Oh. That outhouse was a relic? I... Yeah, I guess so. I suppose you were right about it being a relic. Uh-huh. Funky. Uh... 
up and over this way. Do we actually go all the way down here? Oh, oh no, 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 we no. can't. Because I think, do you need one of the moon sprites to get that crystal or something? We need something. An explosive wouldn't do it, probably. No. Well, I guess this area is a wash for the now. We need something to be able to continue past, the, and it's something we don't have. Yeah, the, all the wood is piled up on the other side of the river. Yeah, I think we did need... Oh! The crystal thing. Yeah, too. we need whatever breaks oh, crystal. Oh, I want to look at that guy again, just because he's cute. And so sad looking. I love antlers. Yeah. I think I've already said, oh, I, I keep putting my legs out. Hoping for the poof. Mm hmm No. Not on me. Not on me, you warm cretin. Oh. You toasty creature. Well, then get me poof. You get poof. Why do, why do I have to get you anything thing right now? No, that's true. Like, I can. It just but... is on your side. Oh. Uh, yeah, but that's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I suppose I could get it. Then I have to take my headphones off. Wait, could you continue south? Or uh, did you already go there? We'd been there. Okay. We pretty much cleared this area. Uh, I'm thinking we want to go back here. Yeah, yeah, let's go to the beach. Well, the interesting thing is... Oh. I'm not sure... So, we've been to the snow area the least, which means it's the highest likelihood to have what we're looking for. But I thought that we were stopped there because of those flying guys. Yeah, but we can get past them. I always still want to go to the beach because we never actually looked at the beach. We did look at the beach. What was what was impeding our way? Crystals. Was it crystals? Yeah, it was crystals. Okay, never mind then. I'm just trying to get as much green as possible. Or not green, blue, I guess. Whatever that spiritual energy is, yeah. Yeah, essence. Because we need a lot of that. Eat them. Eat them. <laughs> Eat. Don't Just hit me. Slimes. I am vulnerable. There we go. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep getting these. of explosions there. Oh, and this is the place where there was the toxic sludge. Yeah. Let me go back up here. Break this. Oh, I hope, howdy, I hope there's greater collections of that. Though I guess we're we're getting plenty. <laughs> I really want like a rapid sprite delivery system. Let's go bananas. Oh right. oh, right. It's the elevator. Yep. Yeah, which we take up into the snow snow zone. There's tons of trash and scrap. Yeah, not that we've currently needed a whole lot of scrap. But I bet we will. Mm -hmm. Nope. I bet never... Okay. Wow. Didn't realize we'd be out of that. You falling asleep? Yeah, a little. It's just so pleasant. Yeah, it certainly doesn't help the fact that we've been listening to the soundtrack for this game right before bed every night. <laughs> it's so... I, I wouldn't say innocuous, but... I, I haven't really been able to pick out themes. It's just kind of... It's perfect background music. The kind of, yeah, ambient background music where... It's pretty, but you might barely realize it's there. Okay. I don't know. Purples. It is, this game uses a lot of purple. Mm-hmm. I mean, purple's, purple's my favorite color. 
beautiful. Oh. Hey, look at those little snowy spritelings. Whoa, cool. They weren't there before, were they? Who knows? Greycoat would say something like, The deep woods are coming alive. Probably. Heh, <laughs> yeah. We'll see if they want to join us. You just suck them up. Shiverlings. These frosty little companions come from the frigid, high-altitude areas of the deep woods. They may be a little bit more fragile than other spritelings, but more than make up for it in their usefulness. Shiverlings are immune to most frost effects, can utilize duplication trees to make temporary copies of themselves, and in groups can create ice bridges across susceptible waterways. What does susceptible waterway be? Wait a minute, they're getting frozen. No, that's one of the woodland sprites. Oh, one of the woodland sprites had gone over there. Yeah, uh. they have a handful. Let's see. Uh, not close not enough. at that distance. Can you use the shiverling to make a bridge? I, I think that's a bridge. Right there. Wait, no it isn't. Never mind. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Nope. Oh, what was up with that tree? Six? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Uh. It's still the middle of the day. Why not, yeah. why not send some with them? I, so I need more shiverlings is the issue. Oh, only shiverlings can touch that tree? Yeah. Oop. Oh, it was a beetle. So aside from the beetles and the frogs and the slimes and the winged imp creatures, what other enemies have we really had? day is almost over. Already? So, yeah. Oh, right. I have to hop on the sign. So, I might try and get some shiverling fruits. That's the one thing I want to do before we head back. Oh, so then you'll have to just throw yeah. some shiverlings at the fruit. Yeah, because if I can have a e uh, an even mix between each type, uh, that'll help. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if I can spot some fruit, though. There we go. There we go. What's up? Mm, just trying to stay awake. The music's so pleasant. It is so pleasant. But also, night is falling in the game. It is true. Which means that the yeah. never will. We're work. fine. They're not that aggressive. Mm hmm. Maybe no, they you, can... lo you lose them quickly, too. There's the howling. Oh, there's a bunch. Yeah. Okay. Have all of them? Oh, no. Get back. Where's home? We're fine. We can just go right uh, here. Ah, yeah, that you can. Boy, look at all that. Mm-hmm. All right. And then I'm probably I'm probably safe enough to go down here. I'm right in a light radius. And if he just shows up, we just bail. Ah! Wow. Aha! I killed him. Sorry. It's just... It yeah, I was not expecting him to pop up right next to me. Ooh, he hurts, too. 
Well, because I was though. worried about you losing your frostlings, but nope. Uh... He's he gave me a smackaroonie. Mm -hmm. oh, that's okay. Because now, oh oh wait wait this is Kirby. Oh boy. Interesting. She's got flowers instead. Wait. Oh. Hey, it's the goddess. My, look at you. Oh, green witch, not goddess. Oh, right. Okay, the witch. Yeah, you're right. It's just she's become some kind of spirit. And also antlers. Who are you? You're tired. I'm sorry for disturbing you. I simply wanted a glimpse. Sleep now, little one. Huh. Wonder if Kirby's related? Yeah, maybe. Like a niece or a nephew kind of th situation? Well, not nephew, but I don't know. Let's see. Okay. That'll do. Just one shy of 40. Yeah. If we get the next upgrade, it'll be divisible by three. Okay. I don't remember these mushrooms being here. They must have been. But I don't remember it. Okay, so we can get this now. Wait. Oh, can we lift the washing machine? Yeah. I like how they hop around to make it freeze into a more solid bridge. Okay. Let me just go ham ham on that. Give me more food. There we go. Of the current Spritelings that we have, I think I... Hmm. I, I like the fire guys. I like the overall design of the grass ones. I wish they were greener. Though. Yeah, I wish they were greener or had like... For the nature ones, yeah. The amberlings are cute. The frost ones look lumpy. Yeah. <laughs> the frost ones just aren't that exciting to me. My old friend. Greycoat, my compatriot, whom I traveled with from Snowdonia. When we arrived, this chapter was sparse, with only the- Wait a minute, is this green- is this gonna be Deep Pockets? Yeah. Oh, yep. Only the green witch and a few green shields to tend to the whole wood. I established myself as the resident scribe, while Greycoat has been designated the green witch's second. I do wish that he'd stop whining. Does whining have a G in it? I don't think so. Winging? Winging? Whining? I think it it's is whining. whining. Yeah. As soon as we arrived outside the grove, a fae fly snatched him by the hem of his coat and tore it off him, giggling as it took to the air. I've never seen him so cross. The green witch sewed him a new sewed him. I was about to say sewed, sewed. It's mm -hmm. sewed. A new one, just to silence him. But even still, I see him looking down at the replacement coat and shaking his head morosely. I mean... Because it's, it's not gray anymore. Yep. It's a brown coat. I bet we find his coat. I hope we do. It'd be kind of a fun little thing. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see. Snap it. Okay. Yeah, you'll have to find some way to get to that plant up on the left. Yeah. I'll have to think about it. It looked like the, it might may have been close to the icy area. Yep. Museum delivery received. Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Grab those. 
think I'll bother with the cat later. I want to mm -hmm. go to the snow zone. Okay. Uh, let's see. Deposit all of these, and we're good. Okay, unfortunately, snow zone is all the way over here. So we don't have a warp point for it yet. Ah, uh, yeah, you didn't really get to progress too far into it. Yeah, I, I keep trying, but stuff keeps getting in my way. Uh... You're sending only the fire ones. Yeah, at this point we're we're good on uh, the snow crystals. Mm -hmm. Like we're not that flush with them, but we have plenty. Uh, let's see. You. Why am I sending them out? They're fragile. I guess it doesn't really matter. I wonder where the last sprites are, because there's the moon one. So then what's the very last one? I still think there's probably like a rock one or a something. Unless it's it's like a moon rock? I don't know. I'm thinking the one with the moon on the head is probably water based. And then the last one has like bug looking pincers. Ah, oh, you're right about that. That'd be interesting. I wonder how many more zones there are going to be for this game. Well... Because I know it's like about 15 hours long. Nope. You're going to progress far enough to get deeper into these zones to potentially find the three artifacts, right? Oh. 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 My. God! Did they just make an adorable icy clones of themselves? That is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. So that's the cloning station. Oh. One of the forest... Oh no! They're killing themselves. They stepped into the ooze. Yeah. I guess the group is too big. That's kind of disconcerting that... Oh! So what you did was you made clones, but the clones were counted towards the total number of spritelings? No, 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 no. Is that what happened? No. no. Uh, let's see. Who's these guys? Oh, I should have plenty. I'm not actually sure what those fruits do. Oh. That's what those fruits do. I think they have some resources on them. Let's see. And what I want to do is I want to find the warp point if I can. Before I mess with too much more. Because I feel like if I if mm -hmm. I have the warp point, then we have far less to worry about. Ah, feel. Rude. There we go. Uh, let's see. No. We're gonna have to come back at that from the opposite direction. 